Hey everyone, Gary Simon of Corsetro. So when it comes to the topic of SEO in Angular, you know, I did a, t a tutorial on this probably about uh, on Angular version four or five. Uh, it's a very involved process when it comes to setting it all up and getting it working. So when I came across this method of getting it working, I was a huge fan because all you have to do is literally type in a couple console commands and it will automatically transform your project into making it SEO ready so that you know, Google and their bots and, and, and search engines can index the content properly. So we're gonna get started by creating a new Angular project from scratch with the Angular command line interface. And then we're also gonna add routing and also uh, set up just a different URL with a component so that you can see that it does indeed work when we view source and you can see all of that lovely HTML that's there for the uh, search engines to index. Now, before we begin, I wanted to mention that, you know, when I went to first try this, I ran into an issue uh, within about two minutes, it was fixed. So I, I was actually able to talk to the individual who's, you know, um, fixing all these issues uh, on Skype. And yeah, he's very dedicated. He wanted me to, to say when I told him I was going to do this tutorial to, you know, if anybody runs into issues with this, please submit it. All right. To the GitHub page here happens to be this dude right here. All right, and also if you want to support the project, and this definitely seems like a project worth supporting, uh, you're more than welcome to uh, donate via Open Collective. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to get started here in your console, by the way, a lot of people ask me, what are you using for your console? It's called, as you can see, Commander, C-M-D-E-R, here for Windows Console Emulator. Allows me to custom style it. There's a video on my channel if you use the search function where I can show you, you know, how to use it and all that stuff. So anyhow, uh, what we're going to do is first, you have to make sure that you have the Angular CLI or command line interface, um, preferably the latest version installed, um, ng hyphen v for me, that happens to be 6.0.7. All right. So if uh, you don't have that, we're definitely going to use it. I recommend using it. Go to, uh, let's see here, cli.angular.io it'll show you how to install it all that good stuff very simple all right so we're going to type in ng new and i don't know we'll call this awesome seo and then we're also going to add the routing flag so that i can demonstrate you know that this does indeed work between different routes on different urls and such so we'll hit enter and wait for that to install all right, and it's done. So let's go ahead and CD into Awesome SEO. And now, just uh, just to demonstrate, you know how the default behavior works here. Let's type in ng serve hyphen o to open up the browser. All right, here we are at localhost 4200. And if we right click and view page source, you know we're gonna we're not gonna see any of this rendered HTML here. So that way, you know, the when it comes to Google and their bots and the other search engines, not going to be able to see the content on the page and that screws you in terms of SEO. So let's go ahead and control C, get out of there. And before we actually add and make this SEO friendly, let's go ahead and generate a component. So NG, G for generate, C for component, and we'll just call this something like users, I guess. All right, and we'll see, there we go. Now I'm using Visual Studio Code, so code period, we'll open that up. And let's go ahead here to source, we'll go to app, and we'll go to real quickly our app routing module, which was added when we added the routing flag, control B to get rid of that sidebar. And real quickly, we're just going to import uh, the component that we just added. So it's import here, users component, if I can type correctly. All right, and then from, all right, and that's forward slash users, user component. Oops. Yeah. Users dot component. There we go. All right. And then finally, we'll also add here in the routes, just our object with a path of, we'll say users. And then the component of course is right here. All right. So we'll save that control B. We'll go to, um, let's see here, our app dot component dot HTML. Um, we'll leave this right here. So for our H1, we'll say my home page, and then we'll put a, um, a paragraph element here. 
of, oh no, not, not that, lorem, there we go. All right, so we have some lorem ipsum text. And then let's go over to our users page right here in the, um, let's see, our HTML. There we go. And then we'll put in like an H2. And then we'll put inside of it my secondary content. <clears throat> let's put in an ordered list this time, just so we have some different HTML elements to look at. Hey, what's up? Okay, whatever. All right, so that's good enough. We'll, we'll understand just from that. All right, so now, oh yeah, let's go back to our, H, our HTML. Let's just add a simple link for us to get there. So a, oops, router link equals, and we'll just say users here, and just say users page. That way we'll be able to get to that, that router outlet there. All right, so now if we go back to our, um, our console, we'll run, rerun ng-serve, hyphen O. We'll see uh, if we go to users, there we go. Again, you can right click view page source, you're not gonna see anything. All right, so let's fix that. Um, wow, we're already at 4.45 in the video. Sorry about that, I have a, a tendency to uh, digress a little bit. So let's get out of here. Um, so obviously this is pretty much a brand new project. You can add this to an existing project as well. However, do note that um, depending on the complexity of your project and the time in which you're doing this, like if you're just if you're doing this today, like when I uploaded it, there's a good chance or a possible chance it may not work yet. Um, so you're simply going to have to, um, you know, visit the main GitHub page for this, submit an issue, and the um, individual, uh, this person, this is the GitHub for NG Toolkit, and there you can see Angular Universal there. Um, yeah, this guy right here. Uh, M-A-C-I-E, Macy, I would assume. I, I, I'm probably messing that all up. Um, he's very responsive. And, and in fact, when I first ran this, I told him I wanted to do this tutorial um, because it's a really quick way of getting SEO uh, you know, integrated for your project. Uh, it, it did provide an error for me, um, but he jumped on it within literally like one minute <laughs> of when the error took place. And I never even talked to the guy before. So that was awesome. Um, so anyhow, basically to get started, all you have to do is use the uh, Angular command line interface, ng. We tell it to add, and we're gonna add ng toolkit forward slash universal. All right, so let's run, let that run through. And again, at this point, there could be an error that shows up. And if it does, uh, just submit an issue with what's going on. And um, if he's anything like he's been from yesterday, he's extremely quick at trying to address these issues. All right, so it finished here in 16 seconds for me. And I, you have to run two more commands in order to actually launch the app So and, and, and see it in action. So this time we run, instead of ng-serve, we're gonna run npm run build for production. All right, and I'm back here. That took, uh, yeah, uh, not too long, probably about 30 or 40 seconds. And then we run npm run server. And that's gonna launch uh, this URL right here, or rather we're going to launch it ourselves. All right, and here we go. So. First things, let's check, right click, and view page source. There we go. Here's all of our missing content that we haven't seen before. H1 title, my home page. Um, we have our paragraph right here. Let me get this a little bit bigger. Um, and you can ignore this stuff right here. That's not important. It's not gonna affect anything. And then we have our lorem ipsum text. All right, and then our user's link is down here. Now, what about within this router outlet? Well, nothing's there yet because we're not actually at the forward slash users page. So let's click on that. So now we're at a completely new page, obviously with the same content at the top, the way we set it up. So view page source, and now we can see right inside of this router outlet is our my secondary content and that also that unordered list. So this essentially gives you a 100% ready SEO friendly website and we did it all within just three lines up here. So we first run our ng add command and then we run the uh, npm run build production and then npm run server and there you go. That's all the setup that is required. So of course, if you look at the project here Let's see if we go here. We'll see that the um, the 
when we run the ng add and the ng toolkit command, it's going to generate other files for us that we don't see here in the background, like the app server module. We have our app module file, uh, although that this is one, this is the default one, um, but it also adds the app browser module. So um, these files here specifically are for browser and server rendering. Okay. Um, another thing, um, another caveat that uh, you should be aware of. Um, let's say, for instance, you know, after we have this integrated, this um, uh, you know, this SEO friendly version of Angular, and we want to generate a component with a command line interface, um, you're going to run into this problem. So, and it's not a huge problem. Let me get out of here. So, say we okay, we already have um, it added. Now let's create a new component. So ng generate component, um, we'll just say posts. Well, you're going to run into this little issue right here. It says more than one module matches, and that's because it added those other two module files. So to get around that, we can use a flag. So ng gc uh, generate component, and we'll say posts, and then we use the module flag, and then the name of the module, and we just want to use the app module. So now it'll work like it's supposed to, and it, you only have to update this app.module.ts file. All right, so again, if you run into issues, make sure you go to the GitHub page and submit an issue, and I, hopefully he's going to jump on top of it just like he did with the issue that I initially encountered from yesterday. All right, so if you like this video and you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe here, check out the site, CoreCetra.com, and I'll see you real soon. All right, goodbye.